Hello, welcome to the next video. Here we're going to look at the maximum likelihood estimators for a gumbo distribution. And here's the crazy distribution. It has two parameters, mu and sigma, but here I call it S. And it's a location or a shift parameter and a scale parameter. We're going to use Newton Raphson method from scratch to find these MLEs and we're going to compare our results with the built-in function called Unirood to see if they match and they do of course but for background videos I have a video on Newton Raphson and Gauss Newton methods that may be worthwhile to see and then this video specifically is a follow-up video to part one where we derive the actual equations that we use in this video. For this we need this library extra distro which has the gumbo distribution in it. So when we're going to generate 1000 observations from a gumbo distribution with mu of 2 and sigma of 3. And we're going to store that in X. And so if you were to use this program, and I'll post it in the comments if you want to copy and paste it. So the assumption is that your data is in the vector x. So whether you're sampling the maximum from you know several days or observations, you think it follows a gumbo distribution, as long as those observations end up in the vector x, then you can use these methods that we're going to apply here. So it turns out that when you solve the or the take the partial derivatives of the likelihoods, you end up having to solve for s or sigma first, and then that's what takes Newton Raphson method to to work. So here we um, are going to have an initial guess of one for our parameter sigma. We're going to just let this iterate 50 times, which is usually enough for convergence. And we're not going to test for convergence. We're just going to iterate it 50 times. Oh, in here, I store the estimates in a vector called S convergence. And, and I don't know why it's still here, but um, I did it so I could plot it to see the, uh, the rate of convergence. So I'll leave it in in case you want to do that too. The for loop is how many times we iterate this. We're storing the results in this vector here and we're storing our initial vector first, right? i equals 1. And then these next um, functions. So really this is the newton raphson step. So this is f of x. So this is, well, it's the derivative of f of x and then this ends up being the second derivative because we're taking when we take the partials with respect to, to sigma it's actually we're the first derivative and so it's the second uh, that's the first derivative and this is the second derivative anyway so you can see more details of that in the newton raphson method so let's run this and then once we run this and it converges then we take our estimate x0 and plug it back into this equation which was the equation for mu and I called it mu0 just because I called that s0 and then let's look at all the estimates so our true mu is 2 our maximum likelihood estimate is 2.06 our true sigma was 3 and our maximum likelihood estimate is 3.012292 and now, instead of using the maximum likelihood estimate to derive this, we could have used Unirood. And so this is our function that we wanted to uh, solve 0 for. This is actually the partial derivative of our log likelihood with respect to sigma. And then so if we create a function, I call it scale parameter because it's for sigma. And we assume that that's zero, we can just put it into uniroot. 
and here I, I just create since Sigma has to be positive and I go from 0 0.01 to whatever the maximum if it's our data sets and I have a small tolerance so when we run that we get 3.012292 which is the same as what we got using the Newton Raphson method and then we would take that of course and plug it back into our estimate for mu but the tricky part of finding the maximum likelihood estimates is finding the you know first finding the scale parameter and then that easily substitute back into the mu parameter well anyway well that's all I have for today hopefully you enjoyed that I sure did please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one thanks bye